Well, hey guys, I hope you've all had a brilliant Christmas and a fantastic New Year's. So, what's happened in the world of Steve in 2023? Well, let's find out. The Triumph Spitfire project during 2022 has seen a few changes, most notably a new clutch fitted. Many thanks to Dave Manners Group for supplying this. However, I was unable to film it due to time constraints. But moving into 2023, many of you who watch the Triumph Spitfire project videos will know I've had the diff reconditioned by Pete Cox and Sons, and I was part of that. So hopefully, soon, we'll get the old diff out of the Triumph Spitfire project and the new one fitted. Now I do have an original Triumph Spitfire Mark III engine for this car. At the moment, the car is running with a Mark IV engine that I've somewhat dressed up to make it look like a Mark III engine. However, it isn't. The Mark III engine is a lot more powerful, so it would be lovely to reunite this Triumph Spitfire Mark III with a Triumph Spitfire Mark III engine. And this is where you guys come in. Because what I was thinking about doing was to help speed things up a little bit was a crowdfunding exercise on rebuilding this car's original engine. And in return, you guys get to see plenty more videos and content of me rebuilding the original Triumph Spitfire Mark III engine and fitting it to the car. Let me know what you guys think to that down in the box down below. The Triumph Dolomite has done pretty much nothing in 2022, apart from one trip to the petrol station and back. And I can see it being pretty much the same in 2023. And it's been the same since I brought this car back in 2015. The car has seen very little use. Now I've toyed with selling this car before now, but it's a very difficult decision for me to make. You see, I know this car, and I know the full history of this car. And this car has been garaged its entire life. It's a 40,000 mile original car from new. The interior is completely unmolested. It has never, ever been restored. You can't make up history like that. Not only that, I've got a very personal connection to this car. This was my second classic car and I sold it many years ago. It took me seven years to trace it down and buy it back and since 2015 it has pretty much sat underneath the cover. It's had a little bit done here and there but not much. And it's just sat under a cover in the garage collecting dust. So it does almost seem like a waste of owning a classic car but every time I take it out of the garage just memories of this car just come back and I just, I can't sell it. It's a very difficult decision. However, I may be forced into a position where I may have to or do something with it as I'm losing my garage space. I don't know. I may have to live underneath the cover for a little while until I decide what to do with it. Danny's GT6 Mark 1 project has seen very little change in 2022, apart from the addition of the front and rear number plates. Now these are actually the correct number plates for this car, so it is now legal with the DVLA, but of course not legal for the road, it needs a hell of a lot of restoration before that can happen. But Danny has actually brought for this car now a new clutch master slave cylinder, cheap items I know, but the idea is to be able to get this car not only started up and running as you've seen in previous videos, but driving under its own power before the restoration begins. Now money is obviously tight at the moment for not just me, but Danny and everybody out there, so the restoration of this car isn't going to be any time soon. But when it does happen, and hopefully it will happen at some point, it will be an absolutely magnificent Triumph GT6 Mark I. And of course one of the big highlights of 2022 was when I purchased this Rover P6, affectionately known as Juno the Rover. And what can I say about it? It's been a bloody good car. I mean, there's a lot of things that I could do to this car because it is a bit tatty around the edges. But sometimes I just think, why? The car is good enough as it is. It keeps chugging along, it's never caused me any problems. It's still running on points of condenser. It has got an electric fan. There are certain little changes that I do want to make to it. I want to change the electric fan to be in front of the radiator rather than behind the radiator and have that fan as a backup fan rather than the primary fan and reinstalled an original fan to it. Maybe go down the electronic ignition path, who knows. But at the same time, old Sparky, Forenza Paul, has also brought a Rover P6, but that's a story for another video. The Triumph Tiger saw extensive use throughout the 2022 season. However, towards the back end of 2022, the engine started rumbling and making some quite awful noises. I therefore decided to retire the bike. 
At the start of the 2023 season, I intend to take out the engine and investigate further what this actual rumbling is inside the engine. I won't be filming this part of YouTube as I found motorcycle content is just not as popular on my channel as the classic car content. However, if you guys do want to see a bit more motorcycle content, please let me know in the comments box down below. And finally, the Triumph TR6, which during the 2022 season performed absolutely faultlessly. And going into 2023, I intend on doing much the same as 2022. Getting out there and enjoying this car for what it is, and meeting up with as many of you guys as I can during shows and events. So as always guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.